Hey guys, I hope you're all well. So today I fancied doing something a little creative and I really wanted to tackle this pair of jeans. If you saw my charity shop haul, you would have seen these in there. They are basically a massive, massive pair of men's jeans and I want to make them into a dress. And they've been sitting on the side for ages and I've been putting it off because I didn't want to do pattern cutting and toilet and I felt like that was kind of pointless. Not pointless but defeating the object of recycling fabric if I'm using fabric. I don't know. <laughs> In my head it just didn't make sense. So I am going to completely wing this and try and make a dress out of these jeans. So let's get started. First I just wanted to show you exactly how big they are by putting them on, <laughs> on top of my jeans. Ah. <laughs> so here are the jeans laid out. Um, so we've got the inside seam of a jean usually has a felled seam which is this sort of fancy seam. It's just quite strong um, and then the outside is often just simple stitch this one actually has an overlock seam so the first thing I'm going to do is actually open up the outside seams and just see how much fabric we have to work with. I'm going to actually take the hem out as well at the bottom gives you a little bit extra fabric but it might be quite an interesting look yeah like that's quite cool the way that looks the way it's been dyed after it's been sewn. This is what I love about recycling denim. It's just like got loads of hidden gems that you can find. Okay, so I've unstitched the hem at the bottom of the jeans, which looks like that. And I ripped the outer seam. So that is now open, and this is how wide the leg is, each leg. And then I've got a crotch area, and this zip I might unstitch to use at the back of the dress. And then I've got all of this for the other leg. So there's quite a lot of denim there, it's just how to use it. So I think next I'm going to unstitch the zip and unstitch all down here to open that bit up a bit. started doing some draping and my plan really was for this dress to be like a strapless dress so I'm kind of just deciding how long I want it to be because at the moment it's really long <laughs> um, but I need fabric for the back as well um, but like I mean I don't need much fabric for the back I could do a seam here and here and then add a center seam as well which might look a bit better because putting a seam right down the center is a bit odd yeah i think i'll do that i wanted to have the seam so i'm gonna go like a centimeter over and put a little notch in and then i will find This needs to go on top so that it matches. And then I'm going to pin down the inside felled seam, making sure they're both at exactly the same points. You really want the front bit to be super symmetrical, otherwise it like completely throws your eye off when you look at the dress. And then with a pencil, I'm just gonna sort 
sort of plan out the scene. You can already see there's a nice sort of curve to the dress anyway from where the inseam was. So these are the side pieces. So we need to have a centre seam here, um, which is easy enough to do. Just going to grab a bit of this leg. And place it there. Just going to line it up and then I'm going to chop a bit extra off in case we need it. I'm gonna get my iron out now and just iron everything flat before we continue. I just tried this on myself and I'm gonna try it against the mannequin. Um, I've made a little notch as to where I think it should be tapered down. So notched here, so I was thinking of just having a, a line that sort of comes down like this. While I'm here, I'm also going to line the denim up and just make sure this edge is the same. I like to fit on myself before I go to a mannequin because mannequins are not always, unless you've had them like perfectly made, they're not always very accurate. So I'm going to hold it under my armpit on both sides. Super technical. And then really won't need much in the centre at all. I'm going to measure how wide I wanted that and then add seam allowance. I'm going to fold down the centre front and put a few pins in. And then again with the shape at the top it's going to curve out a little and then we're going to go right in and then we'll just come straight out and go as wide as the fabric allows. So I'm going to go and sew that together and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to properly finish the seams inside with probably not my overlock because I don't want to break it um, but just sort of a zigzag stitch just to keep the fraying down and then I just took some tucks in underneath the felled seam here when I tried it on and I'm just going to hand stitch those down because I don't want the machine to go through and show. Okay, we now have front panel there with so its shaping in it now. I hid a few darts behind the felled seams here and so this pops out nicely. I decided I don't like this bit, the top with the um, the hem. So I wanted to do like a a bit that goes over the top. So this long bit of leg is not big enough to fit the whole back, unfortunately. So I'm going to fold it in half, the seam for the zip in the centre anyway. Um, so now we just need to fill this little bit in here. So let's see what we got. Oh perfect. Give it a nice bit of shape. And then that is going to get cut in half so that the zip and go in the middle. And 
and then these two will go underneath just attach down there so here are my back pieces and I'm now going to sew them on to the sides of my front they are not as long as the front but this bit I actually tapered down so it's too long anyway so it's okay um, so I'm just going to sew these I also put a dart in the side under the armpit so I'm just going to quickly put these together and take away the sort of excess fabric that's left I just tried the dress on for length it will do up at the back so that's good I've got found a zip for that as well and I'm going to use the back as a guide for length because that's the shortest bit and Flory has woken up now. <laughs> what are you doing? She loves lying on this like sheepskin pillow at the moment. <laughs> she's got to chew, which is why she's going a bit crazy. <laughs> That's how uneven the hem looks at the moment. And I'm just gonna trim that away. So the front is definitely done and I'm going to work on the little uh, facing that's going to fold over the front. So <laughs> all I'm going to do is, this is with the facing you just basically create exactly the same pattern that's here but you're just doing it to connect at the top and fold over or fold backwards most of the time. So this time we're going to do it so it folds over and hangs down there. If I were to be doing this properly I'd probably have an inside facing and this outside facing but I don't have that much fabric to be working with so I'm just going to find the line along the top. So I just finished making the facing, so it's going to sit like this around the top, just like that. Um, so I'm going to pop that on the top now. Right, let's see how this came out. Do -do -do. Need to really trim down some of the um, seams. Hey, it worked! It's now a little bit later and I actually just put the zip in the back. Um, I found an open-ended zip. Um, so I just put that all the way down the back. And I kept the bottom edge raw because I quite like the way it looks like that. So now I'm just going to get rid of all of the loose threads that I don't want. And I'm going to try it on. And hopefully... It'll be finished. Not gonna lie, I don't think it's some of my best work, but from not going from a pattern um, and just for a fun little project, I think it actually turned out quite well. And I wish I spent a bit more time on this front facing bit to get that to sit a bit more flat, um, but it's okay. One of the main things I learned at uni was that you just, not everything can be perfect and you just have to carry on sometimes otherwise you will literally drive yourself insane it's finished so here's the finished dress i'm actually really happy with how it turned out yeah i think it's kind of cute 
And I left enough like breathing room because I think I'm gonna put like a jumper or a long sleeve underneath it in the winter and then in the summer um, I can maybe take it in if I need to. But yeah, I just thought this was a really good little project to reuse some jeans that I really loved the denim of. So now if someone says they like my dress, I'm gonna be like, oh thanks, it used to be a pair of jeans. <laughs> and then the back just looks like that. Just got a zip all the way down. The only bit I don't like really is the way the um, front facing looks at the back. So it doesn't continue like all the way, but had to stop somewhere. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. If you guys have a pair of jeans hanging around that you never wear anymore, then maybe you could give this a go. I actually also have denim left over from this, so I probably could make like a little bag or a little scrunchie or something. You know, I don't really wear scrunchies that much, but I had like a lot of fabric and um, yeah, really surprised at how far it went. But anyway, I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.